Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the video I posted yesterday. Now if you haven't already seen it, go back and watch the video I posted yesterday. I'll post a link to the video I posted yesterday in the description box. Um, the video, the video, sorry, uh, that I posted yesterday um, was about how, um, uh, how I taught you how to make what's called a dummy application, a fake application um, in Visual Basic. Um, and I chose one that I've seen a lot of recently popping up on YouTube. Um, I've seen a lot of fake webmail, Hotmail for instance, Gmail, uh, Yahoo Mail, uh, Hacker. Uh, and if you just type in webmail hacker um, on YouTube, you will find I think over 150 different videos showing you how to supposedly um, hack into Hotmail and things. Uh, it's totally fake. Uh, all the applications are made in Visual Basic. They're all dummy applications. Uh, they're all fake. They won't get you in. They won't tell you the password. Um, and I was pretty fed up with that. So I decided to make a video showing people how just how easy it was um, to make your own versions of these dummy applications. Um, so check that video out. This video is really just talking about it in more depth. Basically, Visual Basic <coughs> is sort of pro yeah it's a programming language um, and you can make windows applications with it uh, now most uh, commonly uh, found hacking and cracking uh, software applications will be made in Visual Basic you can also, it's brilliant for making dummy applications uh, film studios for instance will use uh, fake dummy applications that just look as though they're doing stuff which they're not actually. It's just the graphical user interface, the GUI, uh, looks like it's doing stuff, um, but it's not. Um, so that's what a dummy application is really. Um, so yeah, go and watch that video um, and learn how easy it is to supposedly, but you're not, uh, hack into Hotmail. Thanks for watching guys.